Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. You guys see the title? This is the age old debate that never ends. People talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and people are sick of the conversation. Well, we're gonna have it one more time. Okay, one more time. And we're gonna watch this video and we're gonna see what this young lady has to say and we're gonna discuss. I just saw a video of a little boy saying that he don't respect people or women who feed the, the men before the children in the house. But that's my culture, sweetheart. That's my culture. That's what I was raised to do. My mama taught me to feed the man, serve him, and de-serve him. Take his plate up, put that shit in the kitchen, wash your dishes, give us some boom boom. That's my culture, baby. Just like that's my culture um, for us to drink coffee at freaking two years old, okay? Haitians, we drink cafe aclet from when we two years old. And y'all be cussing me out because I want to give my seven-year-old milk and, and coffee, I got something for y'all to suck though. That's probably why y'all got no man now. Because y'all know how to serve and deserve. He's the man of the house. If he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, baby, there should be no reason. You can't serve your man. He gonna eat before the kids because he's the provider. He gotta make sure we got more food. Feed his belly. Feed his belly. Make sure he got more food and more money to come make sure we good and we can eat another meal. Okay, so first of all. Oh, she was beautiful. Her makeup was amazing. I love it. Um, but I will say, listen, at the end of the day, this is all a preference thing. This is all a communication thing. This is all a what works for you works for you, and it may not work for another. Now, as far as the serving your man thing, girl, I'm all for it. Serving your man before the kids, I'm all for it. Um, I understand it's a cultural thing. It's also... What works, like I said, what works in your relationship, what's, what you guys have between you, each, each other, and what you've discussed. Here's, the, here's one thing I will say. I don't like people answering this question who have not been in long-term relationships, who have not lived with a man in their home with children, who are not married and have successful marriages. I don't want single bitter baby mamas commenting, oh, how you gonna serve a man first? My babies come first. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it from women who had their three, four kids and then start dating a guy who comes into their life and he's a boyfriend and he, what he just living he just started living with you for a month now and you talking about oh I feed my kids first that's different that's just a whole different situation that can't be considered under the grounds of do you serve your husband for your children this only matters if this man has raised these kids if this man provides for these kids if this man has been there since day one and he's your husband or your long time living man in, within those dynamics, those people can give me answers and opinions on this topic. Not the single mother who has four kids with a man who just came in eight years later. Of course your kids come first. That's, you're, you're, you're not included in this conversation. Now I <laughs> may be able to write some insight. Um, you may or may not agree or want to hear it. But okay, yeah, I've been with somebody for 12 years and we have two kids. And he's been there since day one taking care of his kids, providing, and everything. Our dynamic is, it's you and I, and then our children. You and I need to be good because we are the couple, we are the relationship. We take care of these kids. We have to have each other's back. We have to have that united front. It's not me and the kids versus you or you and the kids versus me. It's me and you, and then our children, we hold together. Him wanting to be fed first, it's more so a respect thing. I'm the father. I provide. I work hard. I pay for this. We're sitting down. I'm the hungriest. I want to eat the most. I want my food first. Not that he doesn't want his children fed. Not that he won't stop to feed our two-year-old. He'll do all of it. He'll even get up and he'll make the place. And he'll feed himself last. But if, if we're getting served, if I'm serving, I'm bringing plates to the table. It's like, son, don't, don't, put, don't put food in front of my eight-year-old before you put food in front of me. And that's just his preference. And I respect it because it's like, yo, you do what you got to do. You hold us down. You respect me. Like, we're good. Why do I care if I feed you first? My children are going to get fed. My children are not in any way going to feel a way like daddy got food first. They're going to understand that that's daddy. The same way that they be afraid of daddy, they understand that that's daddy. He has a hierarchy. He is the leader. He is the head of household. He has a hierarchy. Like, this is normal behavior. When you get married, the same way you take the man's last name. Like, there's a reason these things fall into place the way they do. Because the man is the head of the household. There's a certain respect that you give to a man. Like, giving the children food second does not negate taking care of your kids, loving your kids, cherishing your kids, giving your L to your kids. 
providing for your kids. Like when I read the comments, like all right, let's let's, let's look at some of these comments. And it's like I like I feel you, but it's it's just like with the whole topic of submission, where people get a negative connotation with what it means to let a man lead and provide and be served first. And it's like, it doesn't have to be that deep. It's, it's just, it's really not. One comment here, which is, well, he says, if you actually supported your chaotic religion, excuse me, um, you'd notice that even the Bible says the man is the, of the house is priority because he prioritizes everyone, which is true. He's the one who goes to work. He's the one who provides. He's the one who's paying for most of the stuff. He's the one who's buying all the kids the things. Well, in my situation, he's the one who's, who's, who's paying, but he's providing. He's doing everything. He's not doing it for himself. He is doing it for his family. The man simply asks put a plate in front of him first. <laughs> like, and we are in an uproar. He prioritizes everyone before himself. It's not a sexist or misogynistic it's nature that's why it's always been a thing because it's worked funny how most women were happier staying home back in the days rather than what's going on now of course the ones that were treated well it's like i said if you're treated well you man is doing what he gotta do everything is handled a nice 50 50 50 60 30 whatever it is well 60 40 whatever it is that works for you and you're good doing these little niceties doing these things that out of respect out of love it's okay. It's not something to look down on. It's not something to be like, ugh. And it's, you're not putting your children second. Your children are not an afterthought. Now, there are situations where this doesn't work, of feeding the man first. Like, let's say he's not home yet from work. The kids are not going to sit there waiting 45 minutes for daddy to get home to eat. So, yeah, they're going to get fed first. And when daddy gets home, his plate is already there, warmed up. Boom. There you go, boo. Eat your food. And sometimes people aren't even home at the same time. They don't have time to have dinner every day together. So your kids get fed at one time, your husband gets fed at another time, you eat my you know, the other time. So this is not something that's universal in every house where everybody's home at five o'clock in the evening to eat together. But on those times that they are, like I said, it depends on what your preference is. Sometimes daddy doesn't care. Sometimes he's like, nah, feed the babies first. It's what works for you. I don't believe any man that's a real man will allow a woman to feed before will allow a woman to feed him before the kids. I get it, in the wild the lioness kills the prey and the lion and the protector and the pride eats first, but Iga, that ain't, this ain't the jungle, you're a man. Let her take care of them kids first and real talk, I can make my own plate. And this is coming from a man. Like I said, he can have that preference, that's his feelings. It's about what works for you. You can make your own plate, of course. I can make my own plate. My eight year old can make his own plate. The same way I'll make my spouse a plate and then I'll make the kids a plate, he does the same. He'll he be in the kitchen, he'll cook. And then he brings me food in bed. And then he brings the kids the food. Vice versa, he will he always feed me first. And then he'll bring the kids the food. He will sit with the kids and he'll eat with them. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's a balance. If your man is just sitting there, wants his food to be put in front of him, and then he goes and sits on the couch, he's not washing no dishes, he's not taking care of no kids, he's not playing with nobody, he's not engaging, I think that's where we have issues here. No matter what dynamic you're in, what relationship you're in, what structure you have, <laughs> as long as you are valued in that structure, and you are happy, genuinely happy, not faking it, not pretending, you are happy, you are good, you are, it's alright. It's okay to be whatever version that you want to be in that relationship. Just because it's part of your culture doesn't mean it's right or that it shouldn't be changed. I don't care how long you've been doing it for. You can keep being a servant if you want to, but don't drag your kids into it. Don't drag your kids into what? Putting a plate of food in front of a man before you put a plate of food in front of them? Why? Why are we creating drama where there doesn't need to be any drama? And like I said, I'm not talking about the situations where, okay, she feeds the man first, or if she's with the kids that he calls it, he hop, jumps, and skips and leaves them alone. Or if she's spending time with them, he says, I need this. He's like, mm, sorry, sorry, kids. Like, we're not talking about that. That's that that's neglecting your children. But we, we're talking about healthy, structured dynamics of relationships and family, that, family situations. That's it. Now, as far as this being a whole cultural thing, I'm not even speaking on it in a cultural aspect because culturally, back in the day, relationships were not what you really think it was all these conversations of oh my parents my great-grandparents were married for 47 years my parents were married for 56 years okay so were they happy hmm were they happy was she happy was he happy or did they stay just to stay so culturally people stay just to stay a lot culturally people put up with things that they didn't want they didn't like they didn't agree with 
So I'm not talking about culturally. I'm talking about healthy and happy, emotionally stable, mentally stable, and all around stability. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I gave my opinion. Let me hear yours. Um, I'm very curious to know because I mean, we're obviously all able to, like I said, have our own opinions. But some opinions are more valued than others. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I want to hear it anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.